What's going on guys and welcome back to the Honeystead. It's one of those warm days on the farm that we are gonna just take care of some of the things that we have to do, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on, of course, our beautiful baby cow and then our piglets that are on the ground running around right now. They're out playing in this mud. Hi, little babies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that all the animals here on the farm are absolutely loving this warm weather. But I know a lot of you watched our video about our the story of the birth of our calf. And yes, um, we did experience something that we've never experienced on the farm. And that was our bull um, being a bit aggressive with the, the baby as soon as it was born. Now, from that, we have learned. We separated the bull. <laughs> From that lesson, we did learn to go ahead and keep him separated for the time being. He's not alone. He's got a couple of girls with him right now, so I'm sure he is fine. But these are lessons that we've learned on the homestead and what to, to prepare for. A lot of you had some really good suggestions and we're already making plans for the future and uh, all the, the future babies that we're gonna have here on the homestead, especially with the cows. Hey, little baby. What you doing, girl? What? What you doing? Looking for a pitchfork? Oh, okay. I'll help you. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for a pitchfork, which they tend to grow legs and walk away. So, <laughs> hopefully I find one. <laughs> Hi, little baby. What you doing? What you doing, biscuits? <laughs> These chickens are not quite happy with me because they all want to lay their eggs and I had to do some cleanup and of course as I'm cleaning it up I realized that I did not hit the record button but in short description of coop clean out this is what I found has been really helpful inside our coop we have a tarp that I lay down and then I'll put some fresh straw or hay or whatever on it but when I go to clean it out all I have to do is pull that tarp out put my wheelbarrow directly below and then I take all of this I wheel it over to our compost pile um, and we turn it and use it for fertilizer for our garden I do have to turn my compost pile today and I'm hoping that my husband's gonna come up with a tractor and I can get him to help me do that because we have quite you're such a loud mouth because we've got quite a bit of a compost pile it's a lot easier to use the forks on the tractor to be able to turn it and rotate it um, without breaking my back. So easy, quick coop clean up. If you have a stationary coop, put a tarp down, pull it out, done. I just spoke with my husband and asked him if he can help me turn the compost pile. He said, yeah, no problem. I thought last time he used the forks on it, but I am mistaken. He did use the bucket. So I'm gonna wheel this up to my compost pile and then uh, go see what else I can get into. I know I've shared with you guys about the barn build that we're gonna put up here in the next Few weeks I mean I feel like the countdown is officially on but we are definitely excited to get this barn up and start doing some of the things that we've been wanting to do in it 
but my husband and my son are up right now. They're cleaning up a few trees that we know need to come down. That always makes me so nervous. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go see if I can help them out um, because yeah, the countdown is like officially, officially on. Do you use the new chainsaw? Yeah. That's awesome. Is it a beast? Yeah, it's gonna get broken. I see what you guys are doing. You guys are collecting the, the resin. Probably the sap, all the resin and the sap. excited about this. I am hopping up on this berm so y'all can get a get a good look. While the guys go down and cut that log up for some firewood for next year, we're gonna go ahead and pick up some of these sticks and get them in this burn pile. I have a feeling we're gonna have a heck of a bonfire tonight as a family. And honestly, as gorgeous as it is today, it is going to be well appreciated because I think I'm still watching the weather for tomorrow. Um, we are borderline either one to Maybe eight inches of snow, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna end up getting, but regardless, take advantage of this day. Hey, baby. Uh, we just, oh. yes. What are you doing? Um, picking up sticks, putting them in the bonfire, being a pyro. Wanna help me? No. Good, you're gonna help me. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I've already cleaned up all of them. Yeah. Ugh. We eat marshmallows. Hey, you wish us at the door. No. Yeah, huh? Come 
gonna be a nice toasty fire. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect night for a bonfire. Yes, yeah, we yeah, let's have a bonfire, then order pizza and all that. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that time of day where all the babies are gonna get some food. Look at these two fat piggies. Feed the cow, Reba. Hey, Reba. When are you going to give us a baby, huh? I'll walk. The farm is definitely a much better place when you've got kids on it and they're a part of what you're doing. I know a lot of people who are starting out their homestead have kids and I will say encourage them to be a part of it. Um, it might feel like work and it might feel like a chore um, but they're going to get something from it and it's going to be rewarding. So yeah, might feel like work but I highly, highly say get your kids involved. Um, our kids could run this farm outside of a few things. My son got a tractor lesson today. Um, you know, <laughs> it is really awesome to see them stand up on their own to help be a part of what we're doing here on the farm. And uh, I, I look forward to others who are starting out their homestead, especially if you guys have little guys start their chores, give them a responsibility, give them a purpose. Um, it's, it's definitely rewarding. Boy, it has been a busy day. And you guys are probably like, what the heck, Kaylee? Because I've taken my camera between cleaning out poops. I didn't take you up to the barn. I was working on the goats today, getting everybody all squared away, making sure their hooves looked good. We did a little bit of work up where the barn is gonna be. And uh, now I, all I have to do is flip the compost pile.
Oh yeah. Now this has been really awesome and it's it's actually it's actually kind of warm. Um, but the backside right here this is everything we have been working on composting for really the last five years. Um, it's going to be awesome, especially when we go to amend all of our, our beds and our garden. Don't have much of a fertilizer issue over here. <laughs> Nothing too fancy with our compost pile. Uh, maybe at one point we will go ahead and plan on building um, kind of like a pallet U-shape, maybe a couple of them, uh, because honestly we've got some of the older compost on that side and then now that we added the newer, newer stuff to that side. Um, but a lot of that was garden cleanup, chicken coop, goat stalls, cow patties, you know, all of it. And uh, it's good to have, it's good to have. And it's another way to kind of help clean up and, and get rid of what essentially is waste. But that's gonna turn into, uh, gonna turn into our garden. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.